hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm gonna show you how to automate ms word with a simple text file in my previous video i had explained how to use ms excel to generate automated ms word all right instead of excel today i'm gonna use a simple text file so the text file will contain a comma separated uh, entries in this case i have a name age some updates all right so okay so this document is the automated one i mean i have generated this uh document just now all right so let's see what it is so this is a simple subcontract agreement with some uh, dynamic content the fields which are rendered are dynamic contents that is populated on the fly okay uh, this looks very very simple uh, but actually when you use this uh, i mean utility practically you may have a uh, uh, multiple uh, fields which can be automated from reading from a text file all right so so okay so first thing this is my template and this is my source okay on double clicking this document you will get the uh, generated new document okay first let us see how to generate the one okay later i'll explain how it is done okay before that let me enable the macros all right i'm gonna close this i will not save and i'm gonna close this as well and this is my macro okay this is my template all right i'll explain you what is this thing is the document variable okay i have closed everything i'm gonna run the document template now okay before that i will change the fields here so instead of arnold i'm gonna do some something okay so this is the new text file i'm gonna save it save it okay once i double click this template i should get a new document with the fields present in the text file let me try okay here you can see this all right this is the newly gener generated document just now this the values are read from this text file okay let me do it again okay so the values are comma separated and i have uh, one two three four five six six fields when i double click this i get the new document so when you open this document you'll see the new fields updated okay all right so let's see how i did it okay now i'm gonna disable the macro because if i see this template is uh you know when i open this template the macros will run automatically so to disable this to disable that i'm gonna disable the macros disable the macro say okay yeah so now i have disabled the macro let me open this document okay so this is my original template document from this i'm going to generate all the new documents okay by double clicking i can generate a new document okay all right uh, when you say document open the macro will run once the document is opened okay you might not need to know the details of this macro you just copy paste or i will uh, give this file in the description below okay you you just have to know what the macros are doing all right so before coming to macro we need to do okay uh, before uh, coming into the macro uh, we need to generate these variables okay i will tell you quickly how to generate this uh, document variable okay i'm gonna open a new document 
okay so these things are like variables in any programming language this is like a variable uh, in other words these are the uh, placeholder okay you have this uh, variable called one two three four five six okay and in my uh, VBA similarly I have six variables six variables each one for the uh, field one field present in the text file all right to generate the document variable you have to go to the okay this I will just explain how you insert a document variable go to insert and then uh, quick field okay uh, this is uh, office 2013 you might uh, if you have 2000 I think this is office 2010 if you have 16 or 13 you might be I mean the quick field might be somewhere else you just have to check that so basically it's under insert so field here go to document variable okay document variable and just give a name I'll just say one so I'm gonna insert a document variable called one all right so this is what I have done here also so the document variable called one similarly you have to do it for the rest of the document variables all right so this is the first part so nothing else you have to do in the document the second part is to write a macro to update the values from text file okay this text file so how do I do that okay go to developers then visual basic all right okay you have to be careful way to insert this macro because it has to be triggered on opening the document okay uh, the file name is document file in the visual basic editor go to document one and then click this document so the macro should be placed here so that it will be triggered when the document is opened okay the okay this is my macro a VBA code this basically what it does is uh, two things first one is to create the and remember one thing once you create this document variable in the document you have to create the same document variables in the visual basic as well in the macros okay so I have six variables in my document similarly correspondingly I have six variables created in the VBA as well this is very important okay and the first part is to create the document variable in the VBA and the second part is to read the text file and parse it so I'm opening the file called text.txt that is pre present in the active document path in the same folder where my template is present the text.txt document okay and then reading the data and splitting it on comma since the values are comma separated so I'm gonna split the fields based on the comma so I have six fields okay if I split it on the comma so next it will update the fields with the values present in the text file all right and then it will save as a new file and then exit the application okay so the macro is I think very simple it just does three things creating a um, document variable reading the text file and updating the fields and one thing you should remember here is all the open application will be closed as soon as you run this application so be careful before running this utility make sure that you don't have any other documents opened so because this is to make sure that I mean when you run in run in an automated way you should not have you should not be in ending up with too many open documents so it's very simple just double click it double click this I, I mean it's very simple just double click the template and it get the new world document 
okay and you you will not have any open document okay so let's run this again okay let's run it again so i'm gonna close this this is to explain how it is done i'm not gonna save this okay before closing all the application i have to enable the macros enable all macros okay so i'm gonna delete this file and then I'm gonna run this template again okay I got the new file called agreement between the so and so the contractor and the subcontractor let me do it again by changing the values here so I'm gonna change this to something else and the values to something different okay i'm gonna save this and run the template again all right i've got i got a new document by i mean uh, a do new document with the new values in the text file all right guys thanks for watching